Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. Today I'm going to be talking about the second offering from Glendalock Distillery. This is called the Double Barrel and it's bottled at 84 proof, so let's get into it. If this is your first time with the channel and you like whiskey reviews, informational videos, or just general whiskey knowledge, make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss anything. So let's talk about this double barrel bottle. Now the two different barrels are obviously American bourbon barrels, and it's aged for three and a half years in that. And then it's finished in six, for six months in Oloroso sherry casks, so you're obviously going to be getting some of that sherry influence here. Um, this is a single grain whiskey that goes into those bourbon barrels. So let's see what kind of effect that Sherry Oloroso cask has on this whiskey in the nosing and tasting. All right, so let's go ahead and pour a little bit of this bad boy out. And um, the color is a little bit darker than the seven year. Um, makes a little bit of sense being uh, finished in Sherry casks as well. Although it is aged for less time, um, about four years total. So. Um, Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and give this a nose, so. Hmm. A um, few things I'm picking up is dark fruit comes, comes right off the, off the front. So you've got cherry, figs, raisins, um, in general, things like that. But there's also a backing of lemon in there. So it's, it's an interesting concept. It's an interesting uh, duality, if you want to think of it that way. You got the light and the dark. <laughs> so um, let's give this a sip and see how we do. Cheers. Hmm. So here's the thing. It really depends on you. And it depends on your personal opinion of sherry. Not everybody likes sherry. I am still getting used to it personally. You, do you remember the first time, I'm assuming this will be uh, something you can relate to, do you remember the first time that you had an IPA? That flavor difference between like, let's say even like a lager or an ale to an IPA is a dramatic difference, right? And if you're not expecting it, it can shock you. And it may even turn you off of it. So. First things first, I would not recommend this be your first drink of the day. I think you need to have something else first because the, the prominent amount of sherry in this could be a bit of a rude awakening for your mouth. That being said, if you like sherry, I think that you might like this. But one way or another, um, let me just get my tasting notes out of there because I'm, I'm sure <laughs> sure you, you want to know. But in general, this is just, it tastes a bit like a red wine. Um, there's a little bit of like salt in there. Uh, and maybe a little bit of pepper, but in general, it just tastes like a dry red wine. So my overall opinion of this, and this is kind of what I was getting at, is this is a try it for sure. I think you have to try this before you buy a bottle, if you, if you can get a sample of it, or if you see it at a bar, go ahead and, and buy something. Now I get that this bottle itself is not very expensive. I think it's roughly about $30 or so, maybe a little bit less, uh, 28, I think. So. It's not a huge investment if you did want to buy this, but the last thing I ever want to do is suggest a bottle that I personally don't know that you'll love. So I will put this at a try it. This needs to be your decision, not mine. So that being said, <laughs> that does it for this episode of the Whiskey Dictionary, and I will see you next week. So have a great rest of your night. Cheers. If you want to help support the channel so I can review all the whiskey you love, check out my Patreon. It's easy to sign up, easy to contribute, and rewards start as low as a dollar a month. You can get t-shirts, custom Glencairn glasses, or even come on a live stream. Follow the link in the description to get started.